Hi guys, I'm back and today I'm taking you on a really, really special explore. Now this one has got a lot of history around it. I'll try to fill you in as much as I can. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the dates of the things, but the information is will be easy enough to check back. And I really, really hope you enjoy this one. Right, guys, I've got a really, really special explore for these. This one goes by the name of Coco Chanel Mansion. As you can see, it's very, very old, but very, very beautiful. Now, this was the home of the second, West, second Duke of Westminster in Coco Chanel, and she actually fitted this house out as with her own decorations. Now, unfortunately, I think it'll be un, too unsafe to go inside and actually have a look about, but as you can tell, this is one really, really big property. Now, it also has links to Winston Churchill, which makes it even more a bit interesting as he used to sit here and uh, he used to sit down in the, the, the pond and write letters to his wife how his Coco Chanel used to fish from dawn till dusk and catch 50 salmon in the river. And the fact of all this, it actually makes it feel a little bit more worthwhile. And I should actually brought the selfie stick with me. And obviously the, the building was built in 1822. So it's a A-listed building. And really makes that thing, a bit of history is always there. And you like that bit of history then. But like I said, it is probably pretty bad inside. Uh, with the windows being broken, there will be a lot of uh, dry rot on some of the floors. So a lot will be really, really dangerous. But we'll see if we can get even a closer look through one of the windows. Like I said guys, this, this, this place is, it's got so much history to it that it makes it so totally exceptional. Uh, I'm obviously having to be walk around the side of the house and we'll try and from here go and see if we can find the pond system where Winston Churchill used to sit. So there's a window open there. and there's obviously th other things, it's quite a small room but it looks like, like a, you know, a kitchen at one point maybe. But an exceptionally sized house. Now I'm happy enough just being here because this is one place I've wanted to come for ages and as you can tell it's more than worth it. Now, I'd love, if I had the money, I'd buy this place in a second. Well, the door's just so nice. You don't like hear those very churchy going. But like I say, guys, there's no really any access to this one. It's not worthwhile trying to get in to get access and that'll be the lower sections as you can see obviously but yeah an exceptionally beautiful building so we'll see if we can locate the other things and uh, see if we can find the pond and we might possibly be able to get a gatehouse as well so but I know it's in a ruined state, so, but we'll definitely give it a try, eh? Right, so guys, this is the pond that Winston Churchill used to sit in and write his letters to his wife. Uh, and apparently he was recuperating from an illness at the time when he was writing these. And it's, like I said, this was, this one was more about the history rather than getting access to the building, so. But we've had a nice chat with one of the locals who's told us a lot of information about the place. That it's actually currently owned. Uh, so, hope you've enjoyed my vlog. Uh, certainly, like, subscribe, ping the bell for more future uh, explores. 
and I'll be back with a new Explore within a few days. Thanks guys.